I'm here at the 2012 Connect Arab Summit in Doha, Qatar, with Professor Fatih Saleh, who is founder and emeritus director of Cultnat, the Center for Documentation of Cultural and Natural Heritage in Egypt. Professor Saleh, thank you very much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about why you think that the uh, Connect Arab Summit is important. Yeah, it's very important uh, because we have already disconnected uh, heritage between our countries and disconnected information between our countries. And th there is a high chance that uh, during this summit uh, that we can reach a consensus that we work together in order really to establish this connection. And in terms of your particular presence here, you, you've been involved in an announcement here, perhaps you could... Uh... Yes, yes, I'm just coming out of the announcement. We are announcing the second phase of the Memory of the Arab World project. Uh, in fact, as you said, our center is Center for Documentation of Cultural and Natural Heritage. So that's what we were doing during the, the beginning of this decade, the last decade, during the first five years or so, we were documenting the different aspects of cultural and natural heritage of Egypt and showcasing it in the form of websites and projection systems and so on. And then about four, five years ago came the idea that why not we start to spread that uh, to the Arab countries so that we can uh, document the different aspects of Arab countries in, part, in participation with the Arab countries themselves and also the international organizations that are involved in that, like the ITU was, uh, was with us, and also the Alexo and the ICESCO, etc. Uh, so we started working with uh, 15 countries, and uh, we, we, we decided that we will start with uh, certain aspects of cultural heritage, and then we extend to the, the rest. Uh, so what we started with is with the manuscripts, and uh, with the architectural heritage, uh, and uh, with the music, and with the folklore. Uh, and then now in the second phase, we are asking for, of course, to, to increase the input uh, for, the, uh, for the first phase, and also to start working on other aspects of uh, heritage, like Islamic uh, monuments, like uh, Greco-Roman monuments, etc. Uh, and uh, so we had a meeting with the, we, during that period we were holding a meeting every six months and every meeting was in a different country. So the first meeting was in, was in Sharjah and then the second meeting was in Damascus, the third meeting was in Cairo and then uh, the, the fourth meeting was in Morocco and then the last meeting uh, was in Bahrain. Uh, and with the participation of most of the countries, between 15 and 22 in, in each time. Uh, and uh, we started building a portal. Uh, at the beginning, the, imp the data was, uh, was, uh, uh, was inputted in our center. And at the end, now we developed the uh, website, which is www.memoryarabworld.net. Uh, uh, and now uh, we are allowing every country to put their data from their site, from their place in their country, uh, so that we have a portal that shows the collective memory of the Arab world. And how has this portal been received? Uh, yeah, it, 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 in fact, it was in two uh, in two stages. The first stage was information about the project, but not really the the input uh, the, the input databases and so on. So the first phase was completed about uh, two three years ago. And uh, it was very nice, uh, showing very well everything about the project and the meetings and uh, the, uh, the manuals and uh, the products of the project, except that the portal itself was not in operation. That means the input from the other countries. And then finally, uh, this year, we had accomplished this part, and now it's working in both ways. And I think uh, the first phase was very well received. The second is just starting, so we are waiting to get feedback. This is a region of many contrasts. Uh, how do you see uh, the ICTs in general in the region? What are the particular challenges you think facing you? Uh, yeah, as the conference is uh, talking about, uh, especially during the, uh, the, the, the inauguration meeting, Everybody was talking about uh, the uh, digital gap uh, between the different countries. There are countries that are suffering a lot from the, uh, uh, the presence of ICT and there are some countries that are 
in a better position and so on. So we are trying to fill this gap now. And also this is one side is the communication side. But the other side is the content side is that, uh, as we all know, uh, the, the Arabic content on the internet is very, very low uh, with respect to other languages, especially the, the English. So we are trying to increase uh, this uh, content, uh, Arabic content, uh, uh, on the internet through many projects. One of them is Memory of the Arab World. And in, and in Egypt, what is the situation like at the moment then? Uh, it's very well. I mean, uh, the ICT in Egypt uh, has developed a lot during the last decade. Uh, starting where at the beginning of the decade it was very very low and now we are competing with the advanced countries yeah. we are in a much better situation so you're optimistic for the future uh, very optimistic yeah very optimistic yeah mr sally thank you very much indeed for being with us i thank you very much for uh, giving me this chance good and good luck with the project thank you